Josephine Baker's love affair with her adopted homeland, France, was a lot less complicated than her relationship with the country of her birth, the United States. Her adopted son, Jerry Bouillon Baker, works at the New York restaurant named after her. He's delighted that his mother will now be honored with a plaque in Paris's Pantheon. Je pense que elle est enfin reconnue mondialement. Elle a tout fait depuis être artiste, mais être dans la guerre aussi. Et puis ensuite lutter contre le racisme parce qu'elle était noire sûrement. C'est pour ça qu'elle est partie en Europe et puis elle est restée là-bas finalement. Elle se sentait beaucoup plus libre là-bas qu'ici. In the early 1920s, Josephine Baker came to New York City and performed with the Chocolate Dandies at the Cotton Club in Harlem. Although she never achieved the same level of fame in the US as in France, Harlem historian Dr. John Manan believes she played a key role in the cultural and civil rights movement known as the Harlem Renaissance. There's no plaque to her here at the old site of the Cotton Club, but there's a lot of history. I think she is an icon in the civil rights movement. As someone who used their position to further the cause of African American liberation and equality. She came in 1963 for the March on Washington, and to be one of the people who had made it and was recognized throughout the world made Afro Americans feel we have people all over the world. The autumn leaves. Dr. Manan and jazz singer Terry Davis wish to pay tribute to Baker's legacy here in Harlem. East of the sun, west of the moon, yeah. A few blocks west of the old side of the Cotton Club, 17-year-old Kendall McDowell is on her way to a dance rehearsal with the Harlem X. People like Josephine Baker, they are trailblazers. Whenever we do the dance A Train, I try to put myself back when everybody's at the Cotton Club and moving and performing. This school was founded in 1964 at the height of the civil rights movement by a contemporary of Baker, black opera singer Dorothy Maynor. The year before, Baker had told the crowd at the March on Washington that she'd always taken the rocky path and that she'd tried to smooth it out a little to make it easier for everyone else. <laughs> 